My name is Ellen Wally. I am director and actor in River Company's production of The Duck Variations, along with another one-act play called The Eye of the Beholder. And they will be going up July 11th, 12th, 13th, 18th, 19th, and 20th. The two Sundays will be matinees. In Demerscotta, Maine, at the Skidumpha Library, Porter Meeting Hall. The Duck Variations by David Mamet is two people who come together on a park bench regularly and they argue and they discuss and they figure out the world and they argue <laughs> and it's really basically about ducks and life and nothing. It's very profound and it's very foolish all at once. I wonder if it's cold out there. <laughs> there here. It's like it is today. How it is today, that's how it is. But the boat is moving. So, it's cold in relation to how fast the boat is going. The water is colder than the land. So, it's cold in relation to the water. So, it's a different temperature on the boat than it is on a bench. They probably got sweaters. I think the humor comes from humanity. It just comes from people being people. I think it's hysterical. I always love listening to people. I love watching people. And I wish I could be invisible. And I think the audience is going to enjoy being the um, eavesdroppers in this case. But they race for Easter and Thanksgiving. Uh, thinking of turkeys. Also ducks. They got them in captivity? Yeah, in the barnyard. They clipped their wings. Huh? Yeah, what? You can't put them on their honor. Times have changed. Yeah, vandalism. The cast of The Duck Variations is Tom Handel, who is the executive director of the Community Television Network in Portland, Maine, and me. <laughs> this, that's it, and the ducks. Although we don't have any live animals and none of them were hurt in this process. <laughs> the mating of ducks is a private matter between the duck in question and his mate. Oh. It is a thing which few white men have witnessed and those who claim to have seen it strangely do not wish to speak. There are some things we're better off not to know. If you don't know, you never can be forced to tell. I ain't got those beaks for nothing. <laughs> nothing is for nothing. <laughs> 20 years ago when my friend did it with another person, I heard it was funny. It was funny. It was so funny. It was, everybody said how funny it was that they couldn't stop laughing. Sometimes when people think of David Mamet, they think of avant-garde and absurd and maybe it's not my cup of tea, but this, this is actually very human. It's two people sitting on a park bench talking. And I myself love to hear people talk. What are they gonna say next? And they're funny people, but I don't think they know they're funny. So this is a different piece of Mammoth that I've ever been exposed to. And I really like it because it's so human. It's just the human condition. I'm Anne Foskett and I'm the director of The Eye of the Beholder, which is the other half of River Company's July production. The Eye of the Beholder is about two artists working in a studio. They've obviously been working together for a long time. They have a model, a live model, and uh, she's been putting up with them for a long time. <laughs> There, it's very funny, but also very philosophical. It's written by Kent Broadhurst, who is also um, an artist himself, as well as a very well-known actor, been in many movies and TV series, and has written other plays too. Uh, so I think he has a good idea of not only how artists behave and react to one another in a studio setting, but um, he has a good handle on how to make it work for the actors. Wonderful piece for actors. So uh, we have really sort of the odd couple of the art world. And um, they get into an argument about one thing and another, and it escalates, and um, then it calms down, and then it escalates again, <laughs> and then the model gets into the discussion and throws in her two cents worth. And so we have a, an amusing philosophical discussion of what art is, because one artist is a very free artist and the other one is a very precise artist, uh, played by Tasha. Um, Salvo and um, Ruth Monsell, who is an artist herself. So we have um, 
you know, good input from the artistic side of things. And um, Andrea Handel is playing the model. Uh, so, very good cast, and we're having a lot of fun doing it. Um, we're involving another artist, Francisca Needham, in doing those canvases for, for that they're working on during the play. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it. If you want to make reservations, you would call 563-8116, and we hope to see you at the theater.